Hello everyone, Carolyn here and welcome to today's tutorial. Today I will be showing you my own original design and this is the Peaks and Valleys bracelet. It is a nine pin bar or three looms design. Um, you will want it set up in this configuration with your three most pin bars aligned and then going up a staggered step on each side till you reach the outside of your looms or loom. And I will show you the band placement on this rendition. And I do want to add, seeing that I did um, bling this one, that if you're going to be adding beads, that you want to do it as you place the bands because this is the bottom side. So just keep that in mind. Um, so we're going to start by placing just our regular perimeter, which is the pink going along here. And this one does have a secondary perimeter, which is the gold, guys. But as most of you know, that will be added as our last step. So two for the centermost pin bar, and then just work your way to the edge of your loom. And then once you get there, I'm trying to just kind of throw them on there, but not so much throw them on there. You just work your way up your loom. Okay. Easy peasy peasy peasy. Same thing opposite side, just mirror image. Da, 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 da. And if you're doing this bracelet, I hope you like starbursts because there are quite a few starbursts in this design. And as you can see, going up there, going along there. Okay. All right, so I'm gonna go off and finish mine up and then I'll be right back to show you how to close it up. And I just want to show you real quick, this is 21 loom links and it's chained, which shortens it a bit. So you um, will kind of know how long to make yours. Okay. All right, guys. So I'm going to go off, finish mine up, and then I'll be right back to show you how to close. Be right back. All right, guys. So I've made it to the top of my loom and I did want to make a correction. Um, um, previous, I said I did 21 gaps. I actually did 22 in this rendition. And I'll be doing the same thing and I do recommend um, that you do 22 if you're doing two loom links because it makes it easier when you start to close up your starburst shapes um, to have an um, even amount so you can end your starburst correctly um, some of you may know what I'm talking about. I hope yeah, I'm not confusing you, but I'll show you when I get there. Okay, so you, to close it up, um, I hope you've been watching because I've been rambling. You just want to go in diagonally three on both sides and then come in towards the center. And so that's it to close up our bracelet. And so now we are ready to um, place our white. And you will see that I also placed some random pinks in here. They're not really random. Um, it was actually to close up the starburst, but I'm actually going to go with just with one solid color. But if you wanted to do that, you would just skip every other band, um, starting with your starburst color. But I'm not going to be doing that. We're going to be working with our first, second, eighth, and ninth pin bar. And again, if you want to match your starburst color, start with that one. If not, whatever color you're choosing. I'm going with silver. And it's white in that rendition, if I forgot to mention it. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Rambling. Too much coffee. Forward. And then down to the left. And then we're going to go forward again. And now is where our, our pattern starts. So we're going to go to the left. And then cross back over to our right. And then just repeat all the way up the loom now. Forward. And then left. Right. Forward, to the left, and then to the right, or however you lay. Some you may lay from right to left. Okay, and you're going to do the same thing, mirror image to the opposite side. So you're going to start off by going forward, and then just go down at an angle. But before we go to our to the right, we're going to go forward again, and that's where our pattern picks up. So to the right to the left, and then forward, and then repeat all the way up your loom. I'm going to do it a couple more times, and then I'm going to go off and finish mine up. To the right, to the left, 
forward, to the right, and to the left. Okay, so I'm going to go off, finish mine up, and then I'll be right back for our next band placement step. Be right back. All right, guys, I'm back and we are ready for our next band placement step. In this rendition, it is the peak that you see um, outlining the perimeter of the starburst. Going along there and going along here. I'm going to be using black. We're going to be working with the second, third, fourth, sixth, seventh, and eighth pin bars. Um, it's fairly easy once we get it started, but just pay attention to me. Um, so when we can so we can get the pattern started okay anyway third pin bar you want to go up at an angle and then forward and then up at an angle to your left and then down at an angle to your left okay and now you're going to go up at an angle to your left up at an angle to your right straight forward and then up to the right or left excuse me up to the left up to the right to the left to the right and then just repeat that all the way up your loom so you're going to go forward to start to make the side shape of your starburst towards the center to the bottom to the left now to the top to the left, to the top to the right, and then just repeat. Okay, so just go up again. Now, ah, da, 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 get on there. All right, so I'm gonna hop over to this side and show you how to do this side. So again, we're going to go over to our seventh pin bar and go up and to the left and then forward, up at an angle down at an angle and before you go out again you want to go to the perimeter first and then go out and then go up and then just repeat again towards the center unhook band okay D -d 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 -d. to the right and then to the right again lay right Hands are fidgety today. Okay, and then forward, and then just repeat up your loom. Last time on this side, guys. So towards the center, towards the perimeter. Add it up at an angle towards the perimeter again. Close that off. Start your next starboard section. Okay, so I'm also going to go ahead and show you how to place our starburst bands that way you can go ahead and do that and when we get back we'll be ready for our next band placement step and this one it is the gold inside of your starburst i'm going to be using white for today and it is just your normal starburst pattern up to your two o'clock position and then going counterclockwise or no clockwise yeah clockwise all the way around and then just going up your loom and repeating. Nothing fancy smancy about it. And if you want, you can go ahead and add your triple loop cat bands because you will be looming out each starburst section. Again, just working from your two o'clock all the way around your loom. Okay, and you're going to do the same thing, mirror image opposite side. I'm only going to do one with you because I'm pretty sure most everybody knows how to lay the starburst. But if you don't, there is enough here for you to know what to do. Okay, so I'm going to go off and finish up both of, both of those steps. And I'll come back when I get to the top and show you what I meant by the closing of the starburst pattern. So I'm going to work my way up there and then I'll be right back. Alright guys, so I've made it to the end of my loom and before I place the last bit of starburst, I wanted you to make sure that um, your end perimeter starburst ends inside of your border. So if you have it coming to the inside and it's not on the border, 
you want to make sure that that's the way it looks okay so hopefully as long as you're doing the two full loom links along with me it shouldn't be an issue for you so I'm going to go ahead and show you our next band placement step which is going to be working with our centermost pin bar number five and it is the pink that you see going along the center it is a single chain but it is a double banded single chain so for each band placement you'll be using two bands I'm going to be using the dual layer black or pearl black penguin black and again two bands each time single chain all the way up your loom fairly easy step okay so I'm gonna go off finish that up and then I'll be right back with our next band placement step all right everyone I'm back and we are ready for our next band placement step in this rendition it is the white that you see uh, running along the underneath of the pink I'm going to be using silver that and what we are going to do is just place a band across the fourth to the fifth pin bar horizontal band and then from the fifth pin bar to the sixth and then just repeat all the way up the loom now if you find it easier just to work all the way up the left side dropping bands everywhere and then coming back however you prefer just as long as you're placing horizontal band across both bands or both pegs okay so I'm gonna go off finish that up and then I'll be right back for our next band placement step all right everyone I'm back and we are ready for our next band placement step it is the pink that you see running along the edges here up underneath if I pull it apart you can kind of see it a little bit better right there I'm going to be using the um, penguin black again you're going to place a single chain up your fourth and up your sixth pin bar easy easy step single chain single band all the way up to fourth and all the way up to sixth okay just working your way all the way up the loom and I'm going to go ahead and show you our last band placement step um, it is the gold secondary perimeter that you see running along the edges there I'm going to be using white and I'm going to start from these pin bars and work my way to the outside that way when I do my closing it won't be um, quite so band heavy okay so just work your way around your original perimeter all the way around your loom just following your initial perimeter and then all the way up and then closing it back up at the top okay so I'm gonna go off and finish up those two final steps and again if um, you haven't done so by this point you want to place a triple loop cap band on each of your center of your starburst I'm going to be going to do that as well so when we get back all we have to place is our final capping band and we'll start looming so um, continue up the fourth and the sixth with your single chain and then around to the top with your perimeter and we'll be right back with our looming steps be right back all right everyone I'm back and we are ready to begin our looming steps I have placed a capping band on my centermost pin bar and again on each of the center of my starburst and what our first looming step is going to do is just to loom out the secondary perimeter so just loom everything back to their corresponding home post working your way all the way to the edge of your loom and then all the way back up just like you would a regular perimeter do the same thing mirror image on the right side just pulling everything back to their corresponding home post and once you get to the edge just work your way up your loom okay so I'm gonna go off finish up that step and then I'll be right back for our next swimming step be right back all right everyone I'm back and we are ready for our next looming step we're going to be working with the fourth and the sixth pin bar on our single chains um, but we're not going to be looming them back to their home post what we are going to do is we're going to go in and grab our single chain band and we're going to bring it towards the center to our fifth pin bar line up right 
I'll fix it when I go off. And then do the same thing to our six, from the six pin bar to our fifth pin bar towards the center, and then just repeat that all the way up your loom. So from the fifth to the center, from the sixth to the center, all the way up. Okay, essentially making like a capping band over our centermost pin bar. And you're just going to continue that all the way up your loom, pulling from your fifth pin bar up at an angle to the right, uh, yes, to the right, and then from your sixth up at an angle to the left. Okay, so I'm going to go off, finish mine up, and then I'll be right back for our next looming step. All right, everyone, I'm back, and so hopefully your loom looks like this all the way to the top with your last band coming back towards the center. And so now we are ready for our next looming step. We are going to be working with the fourth, fifth, and sixth pin bar, always pulling from the fifth out to the fourth and the sixth. So we're going to go into our centermost pin bar, grab our horizontal bands, and then just loop them back to their corresponding home post directly across. All the way up your one. So go in, grab them, and pull them back. Easy, easy step. Okay. And just going in, pulling each of the horizontals from the fifth pin bar out to their corresponding home post, whether it be on to the fourth peg or to the sixth pin bar. Just pulling each one out to the side. Okay. So I'm going to go off, finish mine up, and then I'll be right back with our next looming step. All right, everyone, I'm back, and we are ready for our next looming step. We are going to be working with the fourth, fifth, and sixth pin bars again. And um, for this next step, we are going to be doing some removal of some bands and placing and then adding back. Um, that way we can get our um, layered look that's on the side here. And what we are going to do, we're always going to pull from the fifth pin bar, again, out to the fourth and to the sixth, working with our single chain. But we're going to lift the silver band up off of the peg first. Okay. Oh, and I got hooked on another one. And then we're going to go in and grab our topmost band and bring it up and to the left and then place that silver band back. Okay. And then repeat the same thing on the opposite side. Take off the other one. See, I find it easier just to hold with my finger. Go in, grab our single chain, pull it to the right, and then place your horizontal back over that. That gives it that layered look. And just repeat that all the way up the loom. So go in, remove your horizontal, grab your topmost band up and to the left, place it back. Grab your horizontal up and to the right, and then place that horizontal back. Okay, a few more times with you. This is pretty easy once you get the hang of it. Just pulling the single chain up and to the left or up and to the right. Just have to remember to lift up that um, horizontal band and then place it back once you. Um, loop out your single chain. So again, up and to the left, place your horizontal back, take your horizontal off, up and to the right, and then horizontal back on. Okay, so I'm going to continue that all the way up your loom, and um, I'll be right back as soon as I get that done, and we'll be ready to move on to our next looming step. Be right back. All right, everyone, I'm back, and so now we are ready to move on to our next looming step. It is going to be the starburst. So we're going to be working with the second, third, fourth, um, sixth, seventh, and eighth pin bars. And um, we're going to go inside the center most of our star starburst and grab our topmost band and bring it down and around to the right of its home pin. Um, if you've made my turtle shell or some of my other designs where I incorporate starburst, um, this should be a familiar pattern to you. You're just going in and grabbing each band and looping it out to the right. Eventually you will have to start working to the left, but you just want to work your way around your starburst, pulling each band um, to this 
post beside the corresponding home post, if that makes sense. I hope it makes sense. Okay, so that's what you're going to do. I'm going to do a couple more with you on each side. So again, you go in, you grab your topmost band, and just pull it to the right. And then just work your way around your starburst. Okay. And do it one more time on this side, and then I'm going to go off and finish mine up. Again, going in and grabbing the topmost band of each band and then just looping it to the right of its corresponding home post. Do do do, get on there. Okay. Alright, so I'm going to go off, finish that up to the top of my loom, and then I'll be right back for our next looming step. All right, everyone, I'm back and we are ready for our next looming um, step. We are going to be working with the second, third, fourth, sixth, seventh, and eighth pin bars. We are going to be looming out the perimeter of our starburst. And what, how we're going to start our pattern off is go into our third pin bar and work our way to the middle and then up to the next home post and just loop the starburst out like you usually would. Now, if we were looming this side up, we would start here, go here, go here, and then go here. So we're going to go up and pick this band up and bring it back as if we had completed um, the rest of the starburst, okay, to bring it up to the center. And then just start out your next perimeter like you usually would, going up and to the left and then to the right, but you can't go any further up that way. So we're going to continue up our loom, just bringing each of the perimeter bands back to the home post. Now you wanna go back and pick this one up and bring it towards the center, and then this one out to the left, and then just work your way back around the perimeter Oops, stay on screen. Okay, so you're going to take this one in and then go in and take this one out and then continue up. Okay, that's what you're going to continue to do on the second, third, and fourth pin bar. On the 6th, 7th, and 8th, we're going to do the same thing, just mirror image. So we're going to go into the 7th pin bar, grab our perimeter band, and get it to lay right if I can. Pull it back to its home post, go forward, and towards the center. I don't know if I can get that one to lay right. My OCD is missing with me. Okay, and then we're going to go out to the perimeter and loop this one in. And again, they're not wanting to lay right. And then go in and loop this one out as if we were going to loom all the way up. And then go in through the other side and just loop those back to their corresponding home post. Now this is the one that goes in. Uh, come on. Alright, so once we go in, again, we're going to go out to the right, out to the left, and then up our perimeter towards the center, and then again towards the center, up and to the right, lay right. Yeah, there we go. And then to the left, forward, and then repeat. Okay, so I'm going to go off, finish mine up. If you um, are still having problems, just please rewind. And um, as soon as you get this step done, catch back up and we'll move on to the next step. Be right back. Alright guys, I'm back and we are ready for our next 
looming step. I hope that your loom looks like this all the way to the very top of your loom. Okay. And so for our next looming step, we're going to be working with our first, second, eighth, and ninth pin bars. And that sequence is going to go, we're going to go into our second pin bar and go forward. Then we're going to go over to our first and go up and to the right at an angle. And then up and to the left at an angle. And then forward. And now we're going to complete that sequence. Now that we've gotten started, it's a repetitive pattern of the loom. So we're going to go towards the center, out to the left, forward, and then up and to the right, up and to the left, and then again forward. And just repeating that all the way up our loom. Okay, so one more time on this side. We go forward, to the right at an angle, to the left at an angle, and then forward again. Okay, and then repeat. And now to get you started on the right hand side, we're going to go into the eighth pin bar and grab your band and go forward if I can grab it. And then we're going to go into the eighth and go up into the left. And then we're going to go up and to the right, forward, and here's where our pattern starts. Forward, up and to the left, All right, come on, get on there. Having a problem grabbing the right band. See if I can get it. There we go. Up and to the right, forward, to the center, to the right, now forward, up and to the left, up and to the right, forward, and then just repeating that for the remainder of your month. Um, if you're confused, please just rewind, and um, once you get this step, um, you can go ahead and finish up your perimeter um, just by looming each to their individual home post. For those of you who are unsure, I will be back to show you that step just in case. But, all right, be right back. All right, everyone, I'm back, and for our final looming step, we're going to be looming out the perimeter. You're going to go into the centermost pin bar and just grab your perimeter bands and pull them back to the corresponding home post just like we did for the secondary border. Now how we put on our bracelet. If that one will lay right. Come on, come on. Alright, I'll fix it off screen. Probably have some adjusting anyway. So just again work your way to your edge and then all the way up your loom. Same thing, mirror image opposite side. So you just work your way to the outermost pin bar and then just straight up your loom. Okay. And then once you get to the top, for those of you who are not sure, you just work your way into the center, get your two drop bands and then pull them through and add your seed clip. Alright, I'm going to go off, finish that up and then I'll be right back with our finished bracelet. Alright everybody, so I've gotten our bracelet off of our loom and hopefully your rendition looks something like this. Please excuse any untwisted bands, I still have some more to um, clean up. Um, if you have enjoyed today's tutorial and design, please make sure to give this video a big thumbs up. If you haven't done so already, please subscribe by hitting the little button below, just give it a click. Um, if you decide to make one, please make sure to tag me and hashtag Peaks and Valleys Bracelet on Instagram. That way I can find all of your renditions in one place. I'm so looking forward to seeing all the color combos that you um, guys come up with. You're always so creative. Sometimes y'all do such a, a better job with your renditions than I do with the design, I think. So, all right, guys. Um, thanks for watching. Loom on Loomers. Have a great day, and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.